So I'm standing out here in front of our beautiful shrine to Our Lady of Fatima uh, to talk a little bit today about First Saturday devotions. Uh, today, of course, is the first Saturday of the month of May, and traditionally, First Saturdays are dedicated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. But where do these First Saturday devotions come from? Well, First Saturday devotions have their origins in the messages uh, that Our Lady gave uh, to the three children at Fatima. Uh, here, Our Lady mentioned that she would request communions for reparation to be made on the first Saturday of every month. And she explained the details of the devotion to Sister Lucia, one of the three children to whom Mary appeared at Fatima. Uh, and in 1925, she said to Lucia, I promise to assist at the hour of death with the graces necessary for salvation all those who, in order to make reparation to me on the first Saturday of five successive months, go to communion, confession, say five decades of the rosary, and keep me company for a quarter of an hour meditating on the 15 mysteries of the rosary. So there's a lot here, but I want to start by looking at this word reparation. And, and what do we mean when we talk about reparation and why is Mary asking for it? Well, reparation obviously comes from the word repair. Uh, when we talk about reparation as part of our faith, uh, we're talking about our need, humanity's need, to make reparation or to make amends for all of our sins. We need to repair the damage that was caused by our sins. Uh, not only our sins personally, but the sins of the whole world. All the sins, we wanna make reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And, you know, at Fatima, Our, our Lady referred to five sins against her Immaculate Heart. Uh, the first is uh, blasphemies against the Immaculate Conception. You know, the dogma of the Immaculate Conception uh, teaches that Mary was conceived without sin. Uh, you and I, when we are conceived, when we are born, uh, we are born with original sin. Baptism washes away that original sin. But Mary was conceived without original sin. This was a singular grace given to her by God. And uh, Mary's Immaculate Conception reminds us of the, of the great majesty of our Lord. She would be the vessel uh, that would carry the Son of God within her. And it makes sense that that vessel would be a pure vessel. So when we talk about the Immaculate Conception, um, it's an honor given to Mary, of course, but it is also something that points to the great divinity and holiness of Christ. Denials of the Immaculate Conception and its importance are attacks not only against Mary, but also against Christ himself. Uh, the second is blasphemies against Our Lady's perpetual virginity. You know, as Catholics, we believe and teach that Mary remained a virgin before during and after the birth of Christ. Number one, this highlights that the birth of Christ was the work of the Holy Spirit. She conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, attacks against the perpetual virginity of Mary are, no, are not only attacks against her purity, but they are also attacks against the divine plan of God himself. It is God who accomplishes the salvation of souls in and through the Blessed Mother and her perpetual virginity as a sign of that. The third sin against the Immaculate Heart of Mary uh, is blasphemies against her divine maternity, refusing to accept her as the mother of God and mother of all mankind. Mary is the mother of God, and in saying so, we attest to Christ's divinity. Conversely, to deny that Mary is the mother of God is to deny that Jesus is God. It is to say that Jesus is just a man, a great prophet, a great teacher perhaps, but in the end, just a man. But when we say that Mary is the mother of God, we are also saying that Jesus is God. We testify to his divinity. Um, the fourth sin against the Immaculate Heart of Mary, those who cause children to hate and reject their Immaculate Mother. Mary's vocation is always to bring us to Jesus. She is the surest way to him. Uh, if we want to get close, if we want to enter into the sacred heart of Jesus, uh, the surest way is, is through the Immaculate Heart of Mary because those two hearts are intimately united. 
to Jesus through Mary is what we always say. Uh, those who reject Mary reject this surest way. And then number five, those who insult the Virgin Mary directly in her sacred images. We see throughout the world today, uh, even, even today, um, destruction of statues and artworks of the Blessed Mother in various parts of the world. The devil hates Mary. Uh, but even in movies, how many times do we see parodies or perversions of the images of Mary? So these sins were present at the time of Fatima and they continue to be present in the world today, which is why Our Lady continues to ask for these first Saturday devotions to her Immaculate Heart, to make reparation for the sins of mankind. In fact, she asked for five first Saturday devotions uh, to correspond to the five sins against the Immaculate Heart. But what do these first Saturday devotions consist of? Four things, confession, Holy Communion, the Rosary, and meditation, especially on the mysteries of the Holy Rosary. Um, confession and Holy Communion are self-explanatory, but what about during this time of pandemic? What about during this time where public masses are being suspended? How can I observe the first Saturday devotions if I am not able to come to communion? Well, of course, God doesn't ask the impossible, and if it is impossible for us to receive Holy Communion, then a spiritual communion is acceptable until these public masses resume. Of course, there's no obstacle during the quarantine to pray the rosary. In fact, being quarantined might help us, gives us time to pray the rosary. Uh, same with meditation. Our Lady called for 15 minutes of silent meditation on the mysteries of the rosary. There are a lot of good meditations out there on the internet. Of course, the rosary is, is scriptural, um, the mysteries themselves are scriptural, so read those passages in scripture and reflect on those. Um, so we can do these things, confession, uh, communion, even if it's spiritual communion, um, rosary and, and meditation on the mysteries of the rosary for 15 minutes. Um, these are so important, uh, especially today with all the troubles that we're, we're having to endure. You know, as time has gone on, Many people have forgotten about these first Saturday devotions, but we need to observe these devotions now more than ever before. Fatima was 1917, at the end of the First World War. Uh, there are still wars going on today. There's still a tremendous lack of peace, not only in the world, but even in hearts. And what's really uh, essential today is remembering that um, spiritual warfare is going on, more fierce than ever before. The devil is working harder to attack God's faithful and his church. You know, I've said from the beginning that this time of pandemic is a spiritual battle more than anything else. Uh, you may think that COVID-19 is nothing more than a flu uh, and we're making too much of it. You may think that uh, this is history's worst plague and we really need to take it seriously. You might fall somewhere in between. Whatever it is, either way, it becomes, this has become a great test of our, of our faith. Uh, for sure, there's a lack of peace in the world and in the hearts of many people. So we need these first Saturday devotions. After all, it's, it's not really asking a lot. Confession, communion, the rosary, 15 minutes of devotion. Um, these are things that we should be doing anyway, not only for ourselves, but also for the whole world. So uh, I encourage you to to take up this practice of First Saturday Devotions. Um, again, these are things that we should be doing anyway. Uh, regular confession, Holy Mass, spiritual communion, if Mass is not possible, uh, the Rosary, and meditations on the mysteries. Uh, if we do these things, not only will our Blessed Mother lead us closer to her Divine Son and give us her motherly blessing, but also these blessings will benefit the whole world as well. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.